It's your girl Kayen. Welcome or welcome back to your girl's channel. <sighs> welcome to a vloggy vlog. Today is Sunday. So I figured I'd start a new vlog. I just stopped a new vlog. Now we're starting. Who am I? Who am I vlogging like this? After I ain't been here in seven months. Who am I? Anyways, I just got dressed. I'm about to go run some errands. I need to go by Ross because school is coming up. And I still need to find Armani some school clothes. Well, school shirt. We'll say that I'm done with school shopping. School starts in three weeks, I believe. I've been school shopping all um, summer, just buying stuff here and there. But Armani needs some shirts. We got the short and bottom situation and the shoe situation. Good, but now I just need shirts. Um, Because you know he's 13. I will say that I am grateful that he's not like materialistic yet. He's he's a he's a simple kid he will wear whatever i buy him you know i'm gonna dress him right i'm gonna get my kids right gianni's clothes you know he's four he's going to pre-k i got clothes from ross marshall walmart Did I get us ross? and a couple things from target so my hair does not want to stay down in the bag but who cares because i'm not putting heat on it so it don't even matter y'all just gonna have to take me how i am so yeah, I gotta go to Ross and get that. I need to get a baby shower gift because my homegirl Lindsay is having a baby and I'm going to her baby shower on the 29th. So I'm going back to Columbus just to get her baby shower. And then we're supposed to go eat brunch together. But yeah, I need to find a baby shower gift. I need to get some like body wash because I have none at all. And I need to get some toothpaste. I actually was writing a list right here of what I need. So toothpaste, body wash. I already know I'm going to Ross to look for shirts, baby shower give, and there's something else. Well, I saw this thing on Pinterest and I'm, I'm about to show you guys what it is. I saw this thing on Pinterest for like kids to stay on task during the morning times. Toddler activities. I know I have a toddler activity thing on here. Here we go, activities for toddler. Yeah, here it goes. Okay, so this is what I want to make so it's like they just flip it up once they've done what they need to do they have a bedtime one and they have a nighttime or a morning one so i thought that'd be cute to make for gianni i might make like a like not so kitty one for our morning yeah that's what i want to make just like brush your teeth wash your face you know get yourself together i am a person that i work better on routine i'm trying to get the kids on a routine too so they know when you get up you do this you do that blah 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 before you even touch your phone or watch tv because me i wake up my kids early so they can have time to like get ready for school i'm not gonna wake my kids 30 minutes before it's actually time to go to school that's not me i don't wake up like that like i wake up at 5 a.m to get 
get myself together I don't have to be to work at 8 but then I do have kids that I have to get ready and you know I got stuff to do but there's times when I want to spend time by myself or with the Lord before I gotta take care of everybody else so that's one thing I do want to get stuff for it looks like it's just construction paper and like double-sided velcro but I'm thinking about getting like a poster board so the construction paper don't rip and I cannot draw and my penmanship is terrible so if I make it and y'all see it and it look a little childish um I'm just childish I just have to be childish because I cannot like my penmanship is bad I don't know where I got bad penmanship from because I feel like my parents have really good penmanship anyway so you saw me just get ready a black bodysuit from Zara and some black biker short black on black because it's gonna make me look like i'm skinny this necklace right here is from her faux lux it was a double necklace but the other side broke because i got it stuck to the back of my hair but i can still wear this side these christian dior earrings i believe i got these on her faux lux yeah these are from her faux lux hermes hermes inspired bracelet wedding ring i don't think i'm gonna put a ring on this finger and what else oh that's it and i wanted to share with y'all my fragrance from today this is from zara and it's a baccarat dupe and it's called the zara red temptation and summer i saw chucks y'all watch her on youtube she posted this now y'all i told y'all been on a budget lately and i really wanted this and it was fifty dollars do i have fifty dollars to be spending on some perfume right now no i was thinking about this perfume again like a month later and i end up hitting the zara sale so i got this for 25 dollars instead of fifty dollars that to me is a win-win because yeah anyways this is what the bottles look like it comes with two so for $50 it's, that's not a bad price it comes with a Zara Red Temptation Summer and this is not the one that smells like Baccarat it's the Zara Temptation just regular Temptation now that's a big bottle two bottles for $25 who hit the jackpot you did baby so I'm gonna wear this today I have never personally owned a bottle of Baccarat I really wanted some but it's like $400 who got that I got it but I can't do it this smells just like it just exactly like it it's only my second time wearing it so i don't know if it's gonna last i'll let y'all know if it lasts all day or not but i thought this box was so cute because it has this little scrap you know i like a good scrap around the ankle <laughs> If Zara hits another sale, buy it. If you got the $50 to buy it now, I'm not mad at you. You got money, money. So, yeah, this is a must-have. Y'all y'all need to get this. Like, And it comes with two. You can't beat that. In the summer, Red Temptation, it smells good. Really good for summertime. I also wanted to share with y'all some other things that I've bought since we've been departed from each other i told you i've gained a little weight and so my abercrombie and finch jeans they fit they're not comfortable actually i could go because y'all know i get my clothes tailored to my body i could go get i could take the seams out myself to make them bigger around the waist but i haven't done that because i am my goal is to get back down to my original weight and that's what i'm gonna do so i was like i need some new abercrombie and finch jeans but i'm not about to pay a hundred dollars for them because that's buying off impulse I've been saying this for like three months okay <sighs> then there were these workout shoes that I really wanted and I'll show you guys later if not I'll post a picture and you'll see me work out in them and I really wanted those shoes because I saw this influencer have them because that's what influencers do we influence people to spend money they shouldn't spend that's wild to me that's why I do me. I'm gonna be different. I'm gonna show y'all when it's when it's a deal going on. When it's a deal. And I'm gonna teach y'all patience because I've been patient and I've got the things I wanted since I've been patient. Okay? So, anyways, back to my story. So I wanted these workout shoes. I wanted some Abercrombie Finch jeans. Three weeks ago, my husband told me to go back home, spend some time with my friends, go get some dinner, be on your little pretty girl stuff. So that's what I wanted to do. I went out with my homegirl, Sasha. But, you know, I went back home. I stayed at my dad's house. And I had no kids. I didn't have nothing to do. So I was like, you know what? Let's go out to the outlets. I had been avoiding going out there. Because I was like, I'm not supposed to be spending money. But it ain't nothing wrong with being a window shopper. I don't care what 50 cents say. You can be a window shopper. I window shop all the time just to get out the house because there's nothing else to do. So I went out crying Finch. I work, I 
used to work at Abercrombie. I love Abercrombie. They need to sponsor your girl. I love their jeans. Their jeans are top notch. Ain't nothing like them. Budget friendly. And that, that's a budget friendly jean that you can get. I mean, you're going to spend some coins. But their jeans last forever and they don't go wrong. Y'all, they had a table of $12 jeans. I was like, hold up now. I can spend a little $12. $110 on some jeans. I can't, but we can do $12. So, you know, I'm searching. I don't really know my sizes now because I have gained weight. I've gone up two pant sizes. It's really in the booty <laughs> that I have to get my pant size like that. But Abercrombie and Fitch's Love Curl Jeans are chef's kiss. Love them. It's for the thick girl. So, I was looking through on the $12 table, y'all, and I found only one pair of jeans. I went to that funeral. I put them on, and I was like, mm, this relationship is meant to be. I'm meant to get these jeans. Matter of fact, let me get the jeans first. Got the jeans, and I was like, okay, I wanted some jeans. This is $12. I can afford them. Y'all, I got to the register, and he was like, oh, well, you have a $10 coupon and when he said it i was just like oh, okay <laughs> like ten dollars yeah totally forgetting that these jeans were twelve dollars are y'all starting to get what i'm saying y'all do the math 12 minus 10 is what i'm gonna say it again 12 minus 10 is what i got a pair of abercrombie and finch jeans for three dollars after tax it came out to three dollars so he was like three dollars and i was like huh like i had to ask him again i said sir okay the the jeans was 12.99 and then you said i had a coupon for ten dollars so you mean to tell me that i got a pair of jeans abercrombie love curve jeans for three dollars <sighs> that's what patience gets you that is what patients get you so yeah abercrombie love curve jeans for three dollars they do not fit me in the waist there's like a big gap but i'm gonna wait until i lose a little bit of weight maybe when i get down to my seven pound mark i'm going to get them tailored i'm not gonna get them tailored right now like y'all they were 29.99 in the U.S., but because this is the Abercrombie outlet, they were $99. Okay, can y'all see that? They were $99. So they went from $29.99 to $12. And then your girl got them for three. So look at God. That's all I said, look at God. But the story gets better. And I'm going to continue the story. But look, wide leg. What? Is this a light wash? I think it's considered light wash. And they're mid-rise, but I'm short. And these are tall. Yeah, these are long. I like them long because then I can get tailored to where if I wear heels, they look so good. So I always get my jeans from my like Abercrombie and um, American Eagle long. So, yeah, I got these pair of jeans. I was so proud of these little jeans because I had patience and I waited. And patience is what I'm working on in my life. So anyways, <laughs> story gets better. Let me finish up the story so we can go to the store. So then there's a Nike outlet there. Do y'all see where I'm going with this? Do you see where I'm going with this? The Nike shoes that I wanted for working out was $120. I went, I had seen them during Christmas time at the outlet that was $99. Dang, they just $99, you know that's $20 off. Oh, I can go ahead and cop and I'll be good. I, every time I would go in there, cause my husband, he uh, sells Jordans and stuff. That's where we find some of the Jordans that he sells. So I was like, we would go there. Like every time we go back home, we go up in Nike. So I went up in there and I was looking and they didn't have them where they normally have them. And I was like, okay, well that it wasn't meant to be. Girl. I walked over to the sales rack that was on the sales rack. Ask me how much I got the shoes I wanted for. I'm waiting. Yeah, $30. $30. And they only had one size and was for me. What's for me was going to be for me that day. I've been patient. I've been, I, I just been working on patience. And that, I was so excited that day because I had been working on patience and not shopping off impulse and just waiting to get stuff. It's always going to be there, you know. You'll find it eventually even if it sells out. So I got $220 worth of merchandise that I wanted for under $40. That's just my little testimony for y'all today to wait and be patient because you might get blessed extra. And that's how I feel like I did. So anyways, that was Kagan's story time. We are going to go to Ross and see what I see. If I see something cool, if I don't, it's all good. It is Sunday. It is 1136 in the morning. I've been up since seven doing my little thing. But yeah.
let's go to the store that is crazy like mm -mm, everything and i've noticed that too everything has gone up all right you guys so i just got off the phone with my dad i was on the phone i didn't vlog me driving and i can't find the little piece that i used to have when i would drive because i was going to talk to y'all while i was driving but no i had a little conversation with my daddy he had me screaming but anyways i just got the rock and we're about to go in here and see what they have i might not even like be vlogging i might just vlog when i come out because y'all um my camera's about to die one thing about these sony cameras the battery life is nothing at all like whoever the next time y'all do a little upgrade can y'all just upgrade the battery life that's all we asking for okay that's it i know that my husband just texted me and asked me to bring some milk like what okay so let me add milk to the list of things i hate this this um y'all are just gonna have to be like right there for a second i hate this um little camera tripod that i got i do not like it but i didn't want to bring my big one because i haven't vlogged in public public in a long time i want nobody looking at me do i not have a pen granted it's still early morning time and nobody is what is this oh my gosh my knife is in I need to take that into the house. So I gotta add milk to this list. M I L K. You take this up here and bada bing, bada boom. Oh, and I need to go by the bank because I need to deposit some money into my account into the vacation fund. So do I got my keys? Keys are in my hand. Let's go. Uh oh. These are the shoes I decided to wear. These are just my dress for less. Those are cute. Those are so cute. My sister is getting married. They say bride to be. Now we're looking at the baby stuff. Um, I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to look for. <sighs> I haven't had a baby in so long. I don't know, like. Let people rather have. Okay, let's go to the girl stuff. How cute. That's cute. Yeah, Armani, a new lunchbox for school because my kids take their lunch to school. Gianni has one, but Armani needs one. y'all it's so hot anyways i'm about to head to the house i will show y'all what i got when i get to the house i just left ulta but i came over here to put some money in the bank but i just left ulta but i went to ulta and i got that squeeze me lip balm that everybody's been talking about it's four dollars okay it's four dollars um i went i came like a couple weeks ago to see if they had the like vanilla one i think it's vanilla and they have been sold out but they had the grape one in there no i'm not a grape fan really but the girls say that this is given summer friday's lip balm have i tried summer friday's lip balm no i have not am i gonna buy it probably not because it's 20 dollars, and i'm not spending 20 dollars on a lip gloss so i just want to see what, what this was given it smells like grape
I mean, it's cute. It's thick. I have to test it out for a full day to see how it is. But it's really super. It's cute because it's small. You know what I mean? Like, it's small. I like... It can go in my bag. I wanted the vanilla one. They do have it online, but did I want to spend four dollars online? No, I didn't. Like, not unless I was gonna get a bunch of them. But if I like this, I will order a couple of them because they're just four dollars. But yeah, I'll let you know how it is. I'm about to go home. I'm starving. I only had a little bit of breakfast this morning. Um, I made shrimp and grits, and I made cinnamon rolls. I did not eat the cinnamon rolls. I ate a minimal, like a very, like this much shrimp and grits, enough to taste it. And I kind of just haven't been eating that much today. I, I do need to eat. I'm going to go home and eat a salad. And then I bought me some Greek yogurt, so I might make me like a parfait on the side. But yeah, going home, I'll let you know what I got. Well, I'll show y'all what I got at the store once I get to the house because my camera's about to die and it's probably gonna overheat in the sun because baby it's hot. I had to put my hair up in a ponytail. Like, no, my little leave out is poofing up, but what did I tell y'all? I am not about to put heat on my hair to look cute. I'm not about to. Like, it's a no-go. I gotta go to the gym in the morning anyways. It's no point. Like, if it was up to me, I would rock this hairstyle for the rest of the summer but y'all gonna get sick of me but i might just do it so if y'all catch me coming back on this camera with this same hairstyle for the next couple of weeks mind your business I'm trying to grow my hair out all right you guys so i'm back home i just got done eating a salad chef's kiss it was so good i wanted to show y'all what i got when i was out at the store and then i'll probably end this vlog we're gonna call this like a sunday spend the sunday with me because I'm cramping so bad, so freaking bad, it's that time of the month and it just started yesterday and I'm so tired. If you didn't watch the vlog before this vlog, we went to Tybee Island, the beach yesterday and I'm just tired and I just want to relax for the rest of the day and I was going to go to the gym but my knee hurts, it's been hurting for a couple of days and I'm just going to sit down and ice my knee, like I need to relax and not do anything for the rest of the day. So this is going to be a Sunday vlog. You know, spending a couple hours with me. Hold on, my sister just texted me. Okay, anyway, so. I think y'all probably, well, I got um, Armani this lunch box right here. Got like this compartment good enough for him to put his sandwich and everything in. And then it has a zip part right here. Gianni has his, um... Gianni already has his lunchbox and his book bag. No, I told y'all that I started doing my hair. I'm trying to get myself on like a hair regimen. So I was watching this girl's YouTube channel and she said to use microfiber cloth to dry your hair with because they're just more gentler on your hair and it soaks up and absorbs. What am I trying to say? It absorbs water. That's some long hair, so I'm gonna take notes. I told you I've been taking notes. So I got this micro microfiber, isn't that how you say? Absorbent towel to dry my hair off with. Um, I'm gonna open it and see what it looks like. I was gonna order one off Amazon and it was like $10 for one. I got this at Ross for $2.99. Like, quit playing with me. One thing I've, I've noticed since I have been like budgeting what I get and what I buy, the simple fact that Amazon is actually expensive. Buying online is actually more expensive than buying in the store. I've compared price. I'm not saying all the time, but I have compared price and it's more expensive. And then you gotta buy shipping and handling. And I don't know about y'all guys, y'all, but my Amazon, the taxes and shipping and handling has been a lot lately. I'm like, what is going on? Everything in life is expensive right now. But this is what it looks like. Like this. And y'all know how you put it on right here. And then it's got the button in the back. So yeah, I got this for $2.99 versus $10. Um, you know, I'm going to save me some money. I told y'all I had to get some toothpaste. So I got two Crest toothpastes from, uh, from Ross. So yeah, these were at Ross. Y'all already saw my Elf lip balm that I got from Ulta. Then I got some body wash from Ross. I've used this before in one of my videos, but I really like this. It's the pink grapefruit body cleaner, cleanser, and it's in this scent. Like I said, pink grapefruit, duh. 
I like it, especially for the summertime. I feel like this is a good summertime scent. And it has those little bursting beads. I also got me, because y'all know I always wear sweatshorts. Always. I need me a new pair of sweatshorts. I normally gonna get them on Shein, but the ones on Shein they that I like, they haven't had lately. So I got me a pair of gray ones. And they were $7.99. These are just for me lounging around because it's easier for me like when I work from home to put on something that's comfortable and you know still kind of cute so I can just you know throw this on with a bodysuit especially now since I'll have to go pick up the kids from school I'll have to get dressed in the morning times and at least I'll have something that's like comfortable like I'm not getting fully dressed and wasting outfits I honestly probably will buy more sweat shorts and sweat pants when the winter time hit and just get like some plain shirts and be able to bounce when I need to. I'm not going to show Armani shirts just because you know they just really graphic tees but I got him one, two, three. I got him four shorts. Four shirts. I mean they're just you know plain like you know you can put these with a pair of like khaki shorts. I got him this champion shirt right here. I got him this ACD shirt. ACDC shirt. It's just like a graphic tee. You know how these kids use. They'll just wear graphic tees. And then this Los Angeles shirt and it's yellow and red on the sides. Gianni has got enough clothes. Armani now has enough clothes. I got their book bag. The only thing I need to get now is going to be their school supplies. I know what Gianni needs school supply wise, but I don't know what Armani needs. And I called his school because he's going to be going to a different school. I called his school and I was like, hey, do you have a school supply list? Because back home, I would see the school supply list at like Walmart and they don't do that down here. I don't know why. No. Georgia weird. I don't told y'all that so many times. But yeah, so I called and the school said that on open house night, they'll give a school supply list. Well, open house night is like four days before school starts. And I'm the type of person that likes to be ready. All the school stuff, like I have been buying my kids clothes all summer. So I know I have everything. And the school supplies is very important, especially because sometimes they don't have the stuff that you need. Armani should have enough clothes to start school. I had my dad laughing the last time I was back home because I told my dad, I said, all you really need is five outfits for the first week of school because after the first week of school, you just going back to wearing your regular clothes. <laughs> and he, he was screaming because it's true. Like, you need five outfits to stunt on everybody the first week of school. And then after that, you back to wearing what you wore last year. Armani going to a new school. Ain't nobody ever seen his clothes, so it's not even really going to matter. I do still have to get Armani some gym shoes. Cause you know, he's 13, his feet are growing. I need to get him some gym shoes. All he wears is Crocs. I do get him like Jordans and stuff, but I'm not gonna get him any Jordans. I'll get him like one pair of like Jordans normally and like Air Force Ones. And I got him Air Force Ones last year and he told me he ain't like them. Like bro, Air Force Ones on the first day of school used to snap. Like that's what everybody wore. But granted, I am a little older. These kids is different. They be doing their own thing. They don't think the same stuff we thought was cute is, you know, cute. But Air Force Ones is like a must-have shoe to start your school year. Like, I don't care what nobody say. Ask me if I got Gianni a pair of Air Force Ones for school because I did not. He want a pre-K. He got some crop and I got him. All his shoes are black that I got him. So, I'm not sending him to pre-K with no Jordans. Look at my tan from being at the beach yesterday. Like, look at that. That is so crazy. Like, not only did we go to the beach yesterday, the last weekend, my sister and her fiance came down here. And y'all, we was at the pool for like three or four hours. We was out there, we had some drinks and we were um, cooking out. And it was a vibe. They stayed the whole weekend with us. My lips are so ashy because I brushed my teeth after I ate my food. I'm going to use this lip balm. I actually think this lip balm is pretty good. It's just the grape, the grape flavor wouldn't be my first choice. It, it would be the vanilla. 
So I might purchase the vanilla. I gotta save up for it though. I save up for everything now. Um, once I start vlogging more, if you look in my house and you see that there's nothing in my house, it's because we're only here for six months and I'm not putting anything on the walls because these apartments that we stay in are brand new. There's no, there was no point of putting TVs on the walls if we're just here for six months. Like all of our stuff is in storage really because this apartment is like 1100 square feet and the apartment that we came from was like 1500 square feet. So we lost a lot of square footage. So most of our stuff is in storage. We had to rent a storage building because my dining room table won't even fit in here. Like if y'all have been looking at my videos, like we have like a little breakfast table that we had to get off Amazon because the kitchen, it's like an eat-in kitchen, I should say. So I just had to get a little table for my kids to be able to eat their breakfast and stuff. Cause I saw my kids, they cannot eat in their rooms. No, cause y'all messy. Ain't no eating in the rooms. I don't want a bug. I don't want none of that. So we went ahead and bought that little breakfast table with the little pull out benches that works for right now we have learned to adjust to being in a smaller square footage house which it's made me realize that you don't need like like a huge house like wherever we end up next we do want to purchase a house and i was stuck on oh i want a house that's 2,000 and something square feet blah, blah 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 i have to i have to actually i've learned that i don't have to if i have enough storage in the house i should be okay with not having a high square footage house if that makes sense or a house with a lot of square foot because this is the last time and i'm putting this into the air and i know god gonna hear me and i'm gonna speak this into existence and i'm gonna come back and look at this video when we do get our house but we are not renting any more apartments this is our last time we are gonna be in an apartment and i'm gonna just speak that into existence I'm gonna leave it right there and we're gonna see how God works. Nothing's decorated. None of the kids' rooms are decorated. Their mattresses is actually on the floor because there was no point of putting it up. What else? Our TV's on the floor in the living room. If you see that, we're not trying to be ghetto. We're just being logical because our TVs are used to being on the wall and I wasn't about to buy a whole TV console just for six months. When we do buy a house, I want to get certain furniture and i'm not gonna do that right now like like we can wait we can be patient patience is a fruit of the spirit and like i told y'all earlier i've been working on patience so living like this temporarily has been totally fine for me at first i was kind of freaking out because i was like oh my gosh my square footage apartment i don't know how it's gonna work but we have made it work and we leave here in december we just gonna rock it and ride it out also with us having like a little square footage desk set up for work is like right here next to our bed and in the old apartment when i was working my desk setup was in our sunroom that we had that was like connected to the living room i hope that the next house we get into we do have some space to where i can have like an office and I'm willing to like share my office with whatever else needs to be in that room. But I hope I just have a closed in door and space to where I can work quietly and just feel like I'm going to work. Because that's one thing from work when you're working from home, you have to make your setup like you're going to work to be able to focus. I have no problem focusing working from home because I have been like a stay at home mom for three years. I've been at home. I have adapted to just being at home and not really being around people. And I'm okay now. But if I was the person that i was when i first got married and we first moved to georgia three years ago y'all know i worked full time or i told y'all i worked full time in a doctor's office as a medical assistant i was used to being around people if i transitioned to like the office and then working from home that would have messed me up probably mentally but said i've mentally already been stay-at-home mom so i'm used to staying at home yeah it doesn't bother me now some people it's hard for them to work from home i stay focused working from home i don't get off task because there's a lot of work to be done i'm always constantly busy but yeah there's one more thing i wanted to show y'all that i got for school for gianni And I'm going to go ahead and open it and see how it is because y'all might need one for your child. But Gianni's going to pre-K and on his list, he needed a uh, nap mat. I got this nap mat right here off Amazon. And let me see if I can open this one. I need some scissors. Okay, but yeah, I got this nap mat off Amazon. For Gianni to take to school. Like, I can't believe he's going to pre-K. I'm going to cry, y'all. <laughs> Even though staying at home, 
with Gianni has been a um it's been something else that's all i'm gonna say it's been something else because if for those of my friends that watch this if they know gianni or my family members gianni gave me the run for my money when he was little he has calmed down a lot since he has gotten older both of my kids are two different are like night and day so armani's my kids are nine years apart so armani was like a breeze when i had him i could take him to go get my nails done and I would take our money everywhere. Gianni, it was a battle, but we got through it and we done came to this point now. Gianni, both of my kids' birthdays are late, so they start kindergarten late. This is the little net mat right here. It's got the built in pillow and it feels okay. It's got a built in pillow right there. Looks like you can, ooh, you can take it out. And it's also got the built in blanket. And Gianni is very tall for his age. So I gotta see if he even fits in here. Oh, no, no, no. I think he'll fit in here. But apparently you can roll this up. It's just dinosaurs. It says like roar. Let's see. But yeah, you can roll this up. Let me roll it up real quick. Run the camera down. So it looks like you can roll it. Then it's got little Velcro pieces. Oh, that's cute. And he can carry it like this. And it's got that. I might try to put his name on it so it doesn't get somebody don't take it. But yeah. Anyways, I'll link this down below for any of the moms who want to get this for their kid for school. So, yeah, y'all. That's all about from the story today. Stuff that I just needed. Needs, not wants. Okay. So, anyways, yeah. So, I'm going to end this vlog right here because your girl, what is on my shirt? I'm a little fuzzy but yeah i'm gonna end this vlog right here because your girl is about to relax for the rest of the day what time is it it is 2 23 i gotta figure out what i'm gonna make for dindin and all that good stuff but i hope y'all have a happy sunday hope y'all have a blessed day i don't know when i'm uploading this i might upload it on the sunday i don't know we'll see but yeah i hope everybody enjoyed this vlog i hope everybody has a blessed day remember that everybody is pretty no matter what size shape or color and i will see you guys in my next video